Hi, I'm Larry Reagan, and Andrew Sheen asked us to do a brief little introduction of a project that we worked on and to talk about the results of that project, uh, who, who we pitched it to, uh, the idea, how it was received, and, and the outcome of that. And in particular, he's interested in what the lessons learned were from, from that experience. So I had a recent one, that when he asked me that, that uh, question to do this video, I had a recent one that was top of mind, which I thought would be a good a good case. And um, I know you're going to hear some uh, projects that didn't go. You'll hear about some projects from other faculty members that did go. And I want to tell you about my project, which was a project that sort of went and sort of didn't, and, uh, and what I learned from that lesson. So um, back in January, I started to put together a proposal to develop a new initiative within the center that I work in. And this idea was going to expand programming that we did in the area and how we were going to do it uh, to do this project. And I took it to our uh, executive team, which is made up of eight senior level uh, people at the World Campus, and I made the pitch. And uh, the idea was well received. I actually had already done some background work with a couple of the leaders to make sure that they were sort of primed, that they knew about the idea. Um, I, I thought that people were interested in it and were positive about it. And so I moved it forward. At, at the end of that meeting in January, I got the green light to develop a business plan, which I started to do as well. I uh, started consulting with a variety of different people who I thought could provide input, make sure that the project plan was balanced. Uh, I had a great uh, project team manager who was helping me out. and Things were progressing very fine. In about April, I had an opportunity to meet one-on-one -on -one with VP, my, my boss, and talk about this project and about the next step, the next steps. And we had a really frank conversation about the initiative, where it fit in with uh, the larger goals of not only our unit within the university, but also institutional goals. And we came to an agreement that it was, the timing was wrong, and the project was not going to add to institutional goals or to the unit goals. <coughs> Excuse me. So, so I had to, in that time frame, sort of rethink my approach to this project. Do I continue to push this through and uh, sort of champion it all the way through, or do I read the tea leaves and figure out what's the best path for this? And I have to say, um, the, exp the experience was a very positive one for me because I had the opportunity to an advance an idea, uh, an advance an idea that I was passionate about, and then ultimately, in the end, have to sort of live with the decision not to forward that on and, and uh, take it to the next level. And I was okay with that. As a matter of fact, that decision allowed me to refocus, rethink what our unit does, how it does it, and, and make sure that our unit is in alignment with both our larger unit goals as well as the institutional goals. So it's, um, this story is more about changing paths and being flexible to um, making sure that you are aware of uh, the direction and the, in the alignment of your initiatives and how that works out with uh, larger goals than yours. So uh, even though my project didn't go in the end, it was a great experience. Uh, and who knows, I'll come up with new ideas that I will take to the group. And I would, I would go through the exact same process again. I hope this is helpful. Thanks.